everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Unity TV. I brought a special guest today with me. This is my son. His name Hello. is... Hello. My name, name is Rocky Flores Paul... Wait. Rocky Paul Flores Jr. Rocky Paul Flores Jr. This is my son. He's my only son, Jr. Anyway, I wanted to bring him along here, show you why I do what I do. You know, I love love him, love family. It's about family. And, and you know, we, we love... We love people. We love to help out. You know, it's all about you and family. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about what the Lord gave me was, you are like a train. And when he gave me this, there's a lot of symbolism within that train. <laughs> Jimmy, stop me. <laughs> the train, it represents you, your body, yourself. You know, the Lord gave us this body. We have to take care of it. He's the creator of all things, and he created you, and you're special, right, Junior? Yeah. Everybody's special in their own way. The train is driven by you. You're in charge of that train, and you have power and authority over the train. As a matter of fact, the Lord tells us that we have all power over the enemy. He gives us the, the power and the authority. The engine in the train is what drives the train. That's our ambition, the fire that burns inside of us, the fuel that that gets us going. And it's important that we have clean fuel We that gets us going. If we have dirty fuel, in other words, if we're not taking care of ourselves and we're eating bad things, we're going to get sluggish and we can even break down. So the fuel is very important that we keep it clean and we take care of ourselves. And that's the food. And also it comes with exercise, right? We have to take care of our bodies. We have to exercise. You know, the, the, the more you exercise, the stronger you get, not only physically but mentally as well because when you begin to exercise, you begin to build more confidence in yourself. It's a psychological thing. You become stronger the more you can do, right? Right? So that's important. That's part of your fuel system. That's part of your training. Also, you have freight cars on a train, and there's different types of freight carts. Some of the freight cars, they carry freight. Some might be called passenger carts, different things. But a freight cart is one that, in comparison to the human being, the freight cart can carry your burdens. It can carry your thoughts. It carries your health, your talents. You see, the Lord gives us talents that we can use. So we carry these things with us. Now, these burdens sometimes in our train, in our body, in our mind, they're very heavy to carry. And it's important that we we get rid of those burdens. You know, how do we get rid of the burdens? Well, we give it to the Lord. Let Him, let him help you carry those burdens. And sometimes those burdens might be heavy and sometimes they might be light. You know, it all depends on what season you're in in your life. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to add about cargo was make sure that your cargo doesn't have any toxic material, hazardous material, you know. The hazardous can be the negativity, you know, and sometimes we pick up people in our lives that are negative. It's an important that we get that corrected really fast. If not, the whole system becomes toxic. You know, they say birds of a feather flock together well even if you don't know it that negativity eventually get begins to affect you right you? Me. Say hi. <laughs> and the passenger cars on your train consist of your family your friends and your acquaintances now at some times or another you pick up passengers that the Lord puts in your place you know, maybe friends, connections, networks, different things. The Lord allows you to come across and, and sometimes they're to build you up along this life's journey. Because your train is on a journey. It's on a track, right? And other times, you know, you might pick up some friends just for a short period of time. And they're there to serve a purpose for you. Sometimes we come in contact with somebody and it may be that we need to help them or we need help. And then maybe we may never see them again, you know, but they were there to serve that purpose. And other times we come across people that we pick up 
And as soon as we pick them up, we have to drop them off because they can slow down our train. Going back to the negativity, we want to we want to keep with positive people. And the journey is your life's journey. You make the decisions where you go, how fast you go, how slow you go, whether you stop, whether you keep on going. That's your decision because it's your journey. Of course, the one that 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 puts you on this journey is the Lord. Now, the destination is important because we have to know what our destination is. First and foremost, we got to know where we're going after this life. The destination should be to heaven, right? But while we're still here in life, we also have to have goals. We have to have stopping points. We have to have regrouping points. We have to say, okay, well, my destination or my vision, my goal is to do X, Y, and Z. And then we have to look at that and see, okay, how far have I come? Where do I need to go? In Proverbs 29 and 18, it says, where there is no vision, people perish. In other words, you don't want to be just lingering around in life because then you get nowhere. You just be going in circles. And eventually, that begins to pile up on you and then regret sets in. And, and then you say, well, I really haven't accomplished anything. And it happens. And that's okay. We just need to regroup set some vision, set some goals in your life, and then ask the Lord to put you on track. You know, the Lord wants to provide a positive and good destiny for you. In Jeremiah 20, 29 and 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, say the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. You see, he wants to give us that expected end, because he has a, a destination and a purpose for us in our lives he provides the tracks when we we stay on his track and him guiding us we were on the stable foundation which is him he provides that when we get off track we become unstable uh. right Jer? so who provides the journey Jer? God. that's right the Lord yeah. therefore in order for us to know this journey this location, this destiny, we have to be in communication with Him, right? Our communication is through prayer to the Lord. We communicate with Him, and, and, and when we pray, we begin to have that that built in, in, in trust in Him and that faith. Therefore, our relationship begins to build with Him, and we get to understand the plan that He has for us in our lives. Now remember, He's your guide. He also provides you the fuel, the ambition, and he provides you the maintenance, right? Sometimes we need a healing in our body. He's giving us doctors. He's giving us different types of medications. And usually our bodies will give us the warning signs, right? We have our senses. When our body starts hurting, we know something's wrong. So that's the Lord telling us, hey, man, sometimes we need to slow down. And sometimes we need to regroup. And sometimes we need to rest. So he provides that information for us. Now, another part of the train is the brakes. Sometimes we have to apply these brakes. We need to use them because if we don't, our train will just continue to run. But the brakes are made there for a very important reason. In the case of emergency, the stopping point, we got to make sure that we put those brakes sometimes. Now, you might feel like, you know, the Lord hasn't been there for you. But He's there He's there for you. He provided you the train. He provided you the opportunities. And He's been there with you on this journey of life. Never forget that you can always go to Him and ask Him, Lord, I might be lost in this journey. You know, my train might be broken down. I might feel uneasy, unrest. I might feel like I need a break. But he's there available for you. All you have to do is ask him. Trust him. Build a relationship with the Lord and he'll provide for you the key elements that you need in your life. He's available anytime, 24-7. The Bible says that he doesn't sleep and he doesn't slumber. And he keeps you even in the palm of his hand. You have a blessed day and I hope you enjoyed this little talk. Don't forget to subscribe.
Do you want to say it for me? Subscribe, hit the like, notifications, and comment how many times I pulled up this one in the video. <laughs>